Hi guys. So today I'm working with a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. And I've mixed up a lot of paint and I am fully prepared for any drippage anywhere. Um, I've put everything all over the floor and so on and so forth. So my plan is to flood the canvas with white paint and then add some color and stretch it out. Um, I'm using a white paint uh, mixed four parts flow trial to one part paint and um, I'm also using micaceous oxide by golden and let me bring it over to you guys because you know you can see here all right so you guys maybe see it oh yeah so my cash my cash wow I can't speak micaceous oxide um, I'm also using Holcroft high flow metallic silver and I mixed in a little bit of gold and silver in that as well. I have PBO's iridescent blue black, I think it is, or is it black blue? Nah, blue black. I have that mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800. And then I also have DecoArt's metallic rose gold. So we'll see. I'm not quite sure what, what I'm doing. I have a thought in my head, but I'm not sure if that's gonna work. So we're just gonna go with whatever at this time. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because I am gonna get paint, I think, everywhere. Maybe not, but I don't have much space left. And <laughs> it's, the canvas is uh, hanging over the edges. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to paint it like this and then I'm going to prop it up on Molly's art, um, Molly's artistry, uh, stands. So anywho, all right. So I have a big bucket of white and I did drizzle a little bit of black and purple that I had all married in one cup in here. So it's not exactly white anymore. Um, this is what I got going on here. And I'm just going to not, preferably not dump it. But I think that'll be enough. So put it on the doggy piddle pad on the floor there. And just spread it out. That is heavy. my torch this is when I need one of those torches that Mina Villegas uses <laughs> and I think what I want to do is start blue black and some of the silver Make some and I'm going to take some of my white and take my pie server Again, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. 
we'll use my left hand, but all right. I think what I'm going to do is start to stretch this out. Paint off over there. It is very heavy. <sighs> Let's see here. Get it over here. Can you guys help me lift, please? <sighs> Good Lord. Now, I am totally digging some of these cells up here. To this lower corner. Yeah, it's really heavy, so I can't really lift it anymore. All right. Okay, here we go. stretch it a little more. And bring it back. Now, there's a ton of the micaceous oxide in here, and it is so faint and beautiful, and it's created this beautiful lacing in here, as well as the, um, what is it, the Rose Gold by DecoArt. I'm really psyched about that, too. That one's, like, created some beautiful lacing also. So I'm just coming in and just adding just a little bit more of the micaceous oxide. But I think I'm just going to leave this as is because I absolutely love this piece. These aren't quite pearls, so I'm not sure what they are, but they sort of look like the snowflakes, but a little bit larger. They don't have that dimensional look like the pearls do in the pearl pour, but I wasn't going for that 
either. So I would have used a different paint for that. So I'm gonna bring you guys in so you can take a look and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks so much for joining us this Sunday. Stay tuned for the results. All right, guys, here we are. Look at the micaceous oxide in here with these this beautiful line of lacing and it's so, so faint, but it's beautiful. And this is looking very brown, but it's not, it's, it's rose gold. It's very pinky. Oh, pardon the ring light, but I wish you guys could see what, I just love this. Looks so cool. Tell me what you guys think. I was just having some fun, nothing too technical, but I really wanted to do a large canvas, so uh, that's what I did. Hard to tell, but I'll definitely have to show this to you guys in an upcoming video when it's dry. I'm hoping it dries really well. I love the mix of the blue black and the Holcroft silver in here. So this is gonna be really, really beautiful and I'll be able to come in with golden silver fluid acrylics to really work with this in here. It's gonna look awesome. But yeah, all right guys. See all the, the glittery glisten on the metallic paint. I hope you guys, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next Saturday. I have an upcoming collaboration with the very talented Sarah Taylor of Sarah Taylor Modern Art here on YouTube. I'm also getting things together um, and starting to organize what I will be having as an auction, um, thinking probably early June. So stay tuned for that video. What else? Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Happy Sunday video train on YouTube. Um, I did a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas just previous to these, as you have seen in this video. And um, it is drying beautifully. And now we're gonna use the same colors, but I'm adding gold and it's the high flow gold um, by Goldens. I've got the whole Croft metallic silver mixed with a little bit of Goldens fluid silver. I have this here is rose gold by DecoArt Metallics. And this one is iridescent blue black by PBO. So we are going to work with these colors again with the addition of the gold. So we shall see. Um, my white is uh, mixed with Floetrol GAC 800 and um, Liquitex pouring medium in some water and I have it in this big container and I'm gonna start actually yeah I'm gonna just start by pouring this across the top now my side's covered Not 
to cover the whole canvas here. I wanted this open. And we're gonna come in, just make sure those sides are covered. So, I'm gonna come in with the silver. And maybe a little more over here. That's all right. And this is the gold. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I got my hair dryer ready. to start blowing this out.
super, super pleased with this, and I can't wait to bring you guys in. Just gonna come over here. I love it. All right. So, I almost like it look like it's so much better than my other piece that I did, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to know what you think. Um, I'm going to come in and take care of some of the bare canvas here. And you can hear somebody with a chainsaw, I think, outside. It's like driving me nuts. Because, of course, it happens when I want to pour. Okay. All right. I'm going to clean up the edges, and then we're going to bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, guys. So <clears throat> again, rose gold is super hard to pick up on camera, uh, but this is a beautiful metallic pinky gold color along with the uh, high flow gold in here. This is just going to be so vibrant when um, it is dry. And this is the iridescent blue black with the silver. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, but I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. I am super happy with this piece. I love it. Little baby pink cells there. And some of the blue black. And then there's this area. This is incredible. So I hope you guys like it. There is the full piece, but I view it. My orientation preference is like right here, part in the light. So what do you guys think? Let me know, let me know. Yeah, so uh, that's all for today. Uh, enjoy the party train here on YouTube. Up next is Mossy Art Boys um, of Mossy Art Studios. And uh, yeah, that is it. So looking forward to this piece drying. It's going to be amazing. Have a great day. Much love. Bye.